Welcome to the Heroes and Generals Xelander Update video log. In the Walker update, the German faction got the Sturmgewehr 44 assault rifle for infantrymen, and the US faction got the M1M2 carbine capable of full auto fire. So in this update, it's time to even the score and give the Soviet faction the RVS 30 h semi-auto rifle also capable of firing full auto, and it fires full-size rifle ammunition, which makes it a really powerful infantry weapon. It's unlocked for Soviet infantrymen at Assault Ribbon rank 12, and like its counterparts, it too can be upgraded with special ammunition, sights and scopes, triggers, internals, barrels and skins. We have also added a new knife for the Soviets, the long blade AVS 30 h bayonet. Even though it is a bayonet for the AVS rifle, we don't support that you can mount it on weapons yet. But this one is the longest knife across all factions and makes a deadly close combat weapon. We have added the following weapon skins. For the MP40, Dunkelgrau, Carbon Black and Autumn Camo. For the Sturmgewehr 44, Carbon Black and Sumpfmuster. For the AVS 30 h Birch, Army Paint, Russian Oak, Russian Blackwood and Camouflage A. For the P08 Parabellum, Carbon Black and the Special Edition Eisner's Kreuz with Ivory Handle and Engraved Iron Cross. And finally, the pearl black skin for the M1917 revolver. The Xylander update also brings a selection of camouflage uniforms. Let me go through them. For the German infantrymen, we have added these new uniforms. Liebermuster, Sumpfmuster 43, Splittermuster A, Splittermuster B, and Splittermuster C. The German tank crew now have Sumpfmuster 43 and Liebermuster. The German paratroopers also have Sumpfmuster 43 and Liebermuster. And the same goes for German recon soldiers Sumpfmuster 43 and Liebermuster. The Soviet recon soldiers receives four different leaf pattern camos. Green leaf A, green leaf B, green leaf C, and green leaf D. The southeastern part of the town map has been redone, with additional houses and new streets giving more interesting close quarter combat in favor of infantry, and also to give the whole map a better village feel. Additionally, a high wall has been added to the south of the churchyard making the church easier to defend against attackers from the southern attack lines. The factory map has once again been tweaked a bit with feedback from the community. The gate building now has an additional entrance and a ladder leading to the roof, while the cap zone has been moved from the lower to the upper floor. And when approaching the assembly halls from the northern attack line, you'll find a new and more obvious entrance in assembly hall B. Stage battles are auto-generated battles that are fought independently of the war with evenly balanced resources for all factions. War battles, on the other hand, are based on the actions of the officers and generals controlling assault teams in the war. This means that sometimes these battles can be very uneven in terms of resources available for the players and thereby less fun to play. So in order to avoid being thrown into the most unbalanced war battles, we've introduced a battle director, which runs on the war server and is capable of identifying which battles are fun and suitable to be played and which aren't. The fun battles can be joined as usual through either the matchmaker or by manually picking a battle. And the battles that are not fun will be also resolved by the battle director. As a reward for joining war battles, we now give extra bonuses for engaging in the war so you get a bonus for rank XP and ribbon XP when you play war battles. And this is now also the only way to earn war funds besides commanding assault teams. 
the way you earn your base credit salary has been changed, so you now earn it based on the time you actually play the game instead of how many battles you complete. The base salary increases as you rise in ranks, and you will of course still earn credits by calving, wounding, killing and so on as usual. A small bonus is given if your faction wins the battle you participate in, and finally you will get a bonus for staying in a battle until it has ended. There are more changes in the Xelanta update, and you can find the full change log in our forum. That's all for now. Play the game at heroesandgenerals.com or find it on Steam.